Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Cloud Shrife's Trustmaster reward is a materia that boosts your unit's layer burst damage by 50% and gives them a double human and machine killer. It's pretty good. His Super Trustmaster reward is his clothes. It has very high attack and gives a strong double hand boost if your unit's carrying a single weapon. On to his active abilities. Elemental Burst, Lightning, will boost Cloud Shrife's lightning damage by a whopping 150%. Fill Layer Burst fills his layer burst. Elemental, Lightning, Imbues lightning onto Cloud Shrike, boosts his lightning damage by 30%, and triggers the damage modifier of his Brave Shift Slayer Burst. Elemental, Fire, it's the same thing but fire, but no damage modifier boost. Ice and Wind are the same as fire, but different elements. True Triple Slash chains a Stardust Ray, and inflicts a 130% fire, ice, lightning, and wind in peril. True Focus Thrust chains a Floating Shrike, and fills his Slayer Burst gauge by about 1 7th. You're out of luck! will boost the damage modifier of Cloud Shrike's base layer burst, his layer burst damage by 250%, and lets him evade two attacks. Passives. With his Trustmaster reward or Super Trustmaster reward equipped, Cloud Shrike gets 500 extra attack, a powerful killer against all species, and a strong double hand boost. The man already gets a potent killer setup at EX plus 2, though otherwise the only bonus he gets is a strong machine killer. He meets half the captain layer burst damage, and has a nice layer burst regen. He prefers to carry a single weapon, meaning half the capture chain limit boost. At the start of the battle, he'll automatically activate preemptive limit burst boost, which will shrink the damage modifiers of his limit burst. His normal attack has been changed to attack, filling his limit burst gauge by half that of true focus thrust. At EX plus 2, he gets the strength of whales, boosting the damage modifier of true infinity's end each turn. The modifier itself sucks outside of morale fight style. He'll also get Omni Killer plus 1, Warring Spirit, and 500 attack. His elemental resistance is also pretty good for a Brave Shift attacker. Let's look at this layer burst. It inflicts a whopping 40% Greatsword in peril, lowers their enemy's defense by 80%, boosts Cloud Shrike's attack by 200%, his layer burst damage by 150%, and hits the enemy. Time to change forms. Cloud Shrike has a true Brave Shift, which has no limitations whatsoever. On to his active abilities. True Infinity's End use a strong single blow. You can't cast it with anything else though. Nothing personnel will boost the damage modifier of Cloud Shrike's Brave Shift Layer Burst, boosts his Layer Burst damage by 250%, his attack by 300%, and gives him resistance to attack breaks. Passives. Most of them are the same, though he switched the MP boost for more flat attack. This change in offense has also resulted in the loss of elemental resistance though. Let's look at his Layer Burst. It hits the enemy. Let's rank Brave abilities. I'd prioritize Elemental, Lightning, to further boost his layer burst damage modifier. True Infinity's End because it hits hard, and True Focus Slash because it hits less hard. Time to make a damage rotation. On turn 1, cast Elemental, Lightning, True Triple Slash for the Imperil, and True Focus Thrust. On turn 2, Triple Cast True Focus Thrust. On turn 3, cast True Triple Slash, True Focus Thrust, and you're out of luck. On turn 4, use his layer burst. On turn 5, activate his Brave Shift. Cast Fill Layer Burst, Elemental, Lightning, and True Triple Slash. On turn 6, cast Elemental Burst, Lightning, Nothing Personnel, and True Triple Slash. On turn 7, use his Layer Burst. On turn 8, cast True Infinity's End. Repeat the rotation from here. So, EX2? If you can, absolutely. 
as you can tell from his EX plus 1 rotation, Cloud Shripe has difficulties optimizing his damage output. This is because it's hard to balance all the effects he wants, Elemental Imbues, Elemental Imperos, buffing his damage modifiers, and all the while timing them with his land burst. You've got 5 turns to really benefit from his preemptive land burst boost bonus, and without external support or someone to cover things like filling his land burst or inflicting Imperos, you're gonna have a hard time doing so. But the money man has an offer! Spend more money, get EX plus 2! EX plus 2 is a significant boon, not only giving him extra attack, more killers, and the strength of a whale, but it also gives Cloud Shrife Warring Spirit, a super critical ability for making the most out of his automatic layer burst buff. If you go one step further and reach EX plus 3, ta-da! A premium vision card! It's a step up from the old premium Final Fantasy 7 attackers, with double the layer burst damage and even more attack, though the killer value is the same, but murder. Of course, it's going to be expensive to reach that, and to be honest, some premium vision cards don't hold up as well as others in the long term. Nevertheless, for the time being, it's really good, but make sure not to lose sight of your lapis dash. So how good is Cloud Strife? The man is a straightforward damage dealer, but has the flexibility to put most premium units to shame. With that being said though, his best damage essentially locks him to lightning, and he doesn't have the ability to remove elemental imbues, even though they just released some units who essentially did the same. His land first damage modifiers are strong, but doesn't shatter any records, matching up with Neo Guardian Tidus at their best. Nevertheless, at full potential, Cloud Shrife can surpass the rest of the competition, all because of retroactive buffs to pass units that he can benefit from. The first remake Cloud's upgraded Buster Sword is a monster of a beatstick for the man with no motorcycle, and the changes to Avalanche's Tifa's accessories means he can equip two of them and benefit from double the bonus attack. With that being said, there are some useful equipment that won't apply to Cloud Shrife, most notably Neo Guardian Tidus' Super Trustmaster reward as it activates the same effect as Cloud Shrife's automatic ability, making it pretty redundant. Lastly, Cloud Shrife has one other notable addition. Shrink of Whales will give a damage modifier boost to True Infinity's end, and this buff will scale with morale. At max level, it's very potent, letting the modifier surpass A2's Hateful Blade. Of course, A2 has other bonuses that Cloud Shrife doesn't, but it's a significant boon to Cloud Shrife's damage output in morale fights. Ultimately, Cloud Shrife is a very powerful unit, with the potential to carry several teams. However, his incredible damage belies his reliance on supporters at EX plus 1, especially if you want to make full use of his buffs. Admittedly, he doesn't bring much else to the table aside from damage though, but that flexible 40% greatsword and peril is more than what most premium damage dealers bring anyways. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you summon Cloud Shrife. Personally, eh, actually, maybe.